it's easy and welcome to my channel today i am doing all these little i'm showing you some okay but i'm just giving you a few ideas of what you can do and how to basically draw them um i'm just giving you there's loads of little ideas here showing you how to draw these little um flowers for example and um showing you the what to do with some of the things and I can't remember. Oh, perhaps I can't remember. I'll show you actually. <laughs> so it's only been about an hour ago <laughs> because I've been cutting out and things as well as um, recording. Yeah, so it's only been about an hour since I've started. <laughs> so that's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, great. Okay, so you can also um, you can doodle on them and fussy cut them, or you can punch them out. But um, as I say. Um, punching if you're punching them out then drawing on them it is a bit of a nuisance okay so let's go and i'll show you what we're doing today but first give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you so much and let's go i have been messing about again so this is um very badly well it's very it's actually very gorgeous isn't it really yeah. some brea brea so after you've been doing gel press or oh, you don't even have to do that really you can just use, use a roller to rub acrylic on paper if you haven't got a gel press which is what that is and that's i put it on actually on the roller i think some some of it i think this is and then just rolled it onto the paper So you can do that as well you can do anything crazy like that yeah so i did that and then i'm going to now i'm going to just show you these because i'm going to show you how nice they look when they've been cut out so that looks a bit because they're in there and you can, you can see these patterns they look like a bit blendy in don't they but if you cut them out which i'm going to do in a sec you will see the difference okay Right, there we go. So I've cut them all out now. So don't they look amazing? Okay, little hearts with flowers, circles with flowers. Flowers, flowers. Book page type, type thing. Gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah. So it's just basically, I'm just doing outlining. So um, you can do that on anything. You don't have to do it on um this type of paper you've got other types of paper you can do it. there's some i've done another time whoops yesterday i think it was there's some gorgeous ones from yesterday see easy stuff easy squeezy easy peasy lemon squeezy i'm trying to say and there's some not normal flowers so that's a bit of waste of time in a way because i've just basically coloured over everything but never mind some leafy things okay leafy shapes and squares and you can also obviously use punches to cut them out yeah and things like that um yeah, any scraps so i could use a piece of scrap paper here yeah so you can use all your scraps on them as well but guess what I've, i did get i've got some acrylic markers but the white's not brilliant so i haven't got a brush white but i've got me these are brush markers. Love them. Oh, I've taken them out of the box. Do I have to take them out of the box? Don't tell me. Right. Okay, so I'm not taking them out of the box as I look and try not to take them out of the box. I'm going to just try and put them over there so I can lean them up against the junk on my desk. How about that? Right, so I'm leaning them up. Leaning them all up against the junk on I did have them all in order, by the way. Mind you, they're not. <laughs> Sometimes they're nothing like what you expect. So what I did was, okay, I used my black one, mainly, to draw with. I mean, you can use pencil, obviously. You can say if you want to draw one of my flowers, which is, I said, the difficult one. They're not, they're not hard at all, really. So it's just a boxy thing. So it's a boxy thing going on. So I do that. Uh, you can I've done them different different ways you can do it like a star because a star would come straight across like that and then you'd sort of like those are two arms at that head and two legs like that see yeah then you draw something in the middle like that 
okay so you've got a now you've got a shape haven't you and then you can um yeah you can use them them colors that we've got on there or we can mess about with other colors let's have a go at, see if i can find a similar one because these look very different and if you got the swatches what is it swatch is it swatch you make a thing don't you color chart look i'm doing green flowers and that unusual no uh -huh. it could be anything though couldn't it that's a nice color though isn't it mm. there we go and then what i do then oh look at me getting getting enthusiastic and making um holes right so get me I have to make sure it works because it's sometimes a bit temperamental. I keep doing dots on the outside. I don't know. I don't know if that's is that that's a good thing. Like I did a dot there. And I just <laughs> just nudged it and did a dot. Yeah, I'm in the right place, which is unusual. Isn't it? So am I getting this in the right? Oh, it's not in the middle, is it? It needs to be in the middle more like that. Yeah. So there we go. So there's all that idea. And you can colour in the middle or dot in the middle if you like, etc. It looks like. Yeah, and then, oh, I did what I did then was outlined it with a uh, white. And then with the black, I didn't tell you, this is double ended. With the black, I didn't go on the um, white, I just went against the white to give it a bit of, I don't know why, just, it's just a thing, isn't it? You don't have to do anything like this, you can, yeah, you can do what you like, you don't have to make a flat, you can do other things as well. Mm. Yes, you can do what you like. Okay, so let's do a butterfly now. How about a butterfly? I'll try that one. Let me have a look. I need a picture of a butterfly to do it, otherwise I can't do it. So I've got me, <laughs> I've got these butterflies. So I can use something like this to copy. I want to do one of those. If I can see a picture, I'm all right. But sometimes I can't do it with that. I can do a whimsical one. Okay, so you come along like that. It's just an angle like that, slight curve. And the same on the other side, so mirror it and then curve it outwards like that. Yeah, sort of thing. Yeah, there's a there's a, I have got a tutorial if you can't draw butterflies on how to draw the fact I've got two different sorts. My son's laughing because he's playing a game with his sisters again. Sisters, sisters, I don't know, one of the two. Right just that's it yeah and don't do i don't do i don't do the antennae right, i'm going to just deal with color really because i've got me got me crayons on top right so it's got purple on there so let's use a purple that's a purpley that's a sort of purpley color isn't it oh that just reminds me <laughs> did a search that just my husband just uh, put a heart against it i put it on family chat my, my, did a search for the dog see what it came up as interestingly it came up with three breeds that he is it, it came up with um chihuahua which he looks like pomeranian and uh volpino italiano uh, shall we do a different color for the bottom I thought that was interesting. Yeah, we'll do the blue. And then you can treat it as the same or whatever. Yeah. It's easy to doodle, you know. So you can do that with a, if you want to do something like a butterfly, I've got drawing a butterfly, you can do it with a pencil, just have to basically do the mirror image, you know. That's it. I wouldn't do a white body on a butterfly. It looked like there's something wrong. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Do you think it would look? So I was just thinking of colouring the body in. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
doing I'm treating it the same as the other ones, yeah. Very cute. Yeah, so what else? So for the book page one, I mean, you can obviously use book pages or whatever you like. <laughs> but this is obviously my, I predict, say predictive text stuff. Okay, so that I put some um, oxide on it, you know, just rubbed it on with a brush. Okay, so I'm to think of something else. We've got about a heart. Can you draw a heart? So let's see a heart. Let me show you how I draw a heart. Uh, same with the butterfly, I suppose, but you just join it in. And you decide where a point is, perhaps. And then just join it. And you get a nice heart. And then you can possibly do even do one of those in the middle, if you like. Yeah, it's like a little jewel thing. And uh, I'm not colouring it all in because I want to leave some of that. I mean, you might be able to see a little bit through, but these are acrylics. And I suppose if you did it with something like watercolour pens, you could colour over it. Because then you'd still see the type through. But I'm not for this reason. I'm not doing that. Yeah. Ah, it's gone gone pink. Yeah. So there we go. Then you can. Um, mess about with there's a million ways of colouring a million and one ways of colouring things in it well that's quite nice because it's got that little jewel thing in the middle right this um I like this I have to find a colour Okay, this is um, so a little heart. It's a little what heart this isn't it? So perhaps do it on here. I don't know if green and heart means jealousy anymore, does it? <laughs> You've got a green heart. I'd say it's like healing. That's what people seem to do, don't they? they do healing heart. Right, let's do that. Oh, that's still all that colour, isn't it? Never mind. Yeah, so do a little hole and then add some. These are quite good for doing that, actually. So I've got uh, um, some whole um, pictures I've done in, in um, acrylics, really. Acrylics and gouache. And I've done all these, done these little flower things all over them. Really cute. Yeah, let's do some dots around the edge. You can get tiny little dots with this, you know. Just get out of your way and you can see a bit more, can't you? Okay. Yeah, don't trouble with these unless you've got unless you've got another right way of doing it. Unless somebody else will do it for you, you've got to cut them out. Yeah, this is six by six paper. You can use, as I say, you can use scraps. Okay, but you can fill a, fill something like this in with uh, six by six. Now you can fill some uh, fill a six by six with all your ideas and designs. Right, sorry, you couldn't even see what I was doing. There. I was just drawing a flower. Okay, and. Um, and on some leaves so it's just a circle four big circles so perhaps that one that one that one and that one and then i'm going to use some i 
Yeah. Ideas, okay. I prefer the brush. I this is <laughs> this is a bit um, dull compared with the brush. How about that? Yeah, see, so when you've cut that out, you won't notice the background, will you? Because you'll have. Uh... So I'm just going to cut this out, and you'll see what I mean. So you can do something amazing like that by just cut using a piece of that. In fact, I'm tempted to add some white dots on it because I always do. Yeah, yeah white dots are great on a flower. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Some plan again. Right. There we go. So things like that, yeah, and they can do load of those. Your pages. Let's how many of those I've got Just different sorts. I don't know. I think I've got several, but I don't think they're all here, are they? Yeah, so that's very similar, isn't it? What do you could do? You could do one of those, one of those, and then one of those. <laughs> yeah, and then etc. down a page, yeah. One of those, yeah. I love these. Well, I can't even. Pick. Oh, I didn't do that one lot. Well, it's there in the in the row anyway, lot. Yeah, and I knew there's something I didn't do. There you go. Oh, there's some more hearts. So you can add those. I think. Can you see all those? Nearly, nearly. Mm -hmm. Ooh, no wrong way. Let's do it the wrong way. There we go. So there's your there's a row of hearts as well, which look good, don't they? And then um boom, boom, boom. Oh, I could have done some dots on them, no matter. So it's any paper especially ones you've done yourself yeah because you can um almost copy them can't you if you've done them yourself i mean i can't really i can copy this because this is my own writing i've written that <laughs> predictive text <laughs> oh yeah circles are so cute with squares yeah look what i've done with that one it's like a little stamp in there Imagine a little stamp, it's got a little heart in the corner, yeah. So you could use that as a little stamp. Well, I've got an idea for one. How about... How big are they? Oh, we've just got not enough room there. Yeah, different one. Right then. So, okay, I've just done that one, yeah, little envelopey thing. I was thinking I could do another one. But the other way round, yeah.
Okay, so we could have... That's another little idea, isn't that? Cute. That's a little idea. You could, you could do postcards and things, couldn't you, as well? Yay, so they could be going down a page or flying across the top of a page or something like that, couldn't they? I might have a go at that. Right then, so how cute's that? Yeah. Right, so if we've got some little post, we've got a little post box here sending letters. You want some that's different, don't you? Each time, yeah, there you go. So you can, yeah, do all this business. You can arrange them so they sort of like go up like that, and then you've got journaling spaces here and here. I suppose things like that. Um, you don't, so don't have to do them the right way around. You can do them upside down, as if they're blowing in the wind. It does, happen, it does help, doesn't it, to be able to lift them up a bit? Yeah, but I am doing them like alternate um, stamp and heart and back, front and back then. <laughs> Yeah, it's a cute little idea, isn't it? I mean, I didn't get this. I, I saw somebody with a similar idea. Yeah, very good. So, I thought I'd draw my own little... I mean, you can get stickers and things, I think. Stickers and of these, but why not draw your own? They're so easy. So easy to do. It didn't take me long, did it? it? Didn't take me long at all. I can turn some upside down. Uh, right way. Yeah, you can have them. You can have them how you like. You can have them all the way around the page or something, perhaps. Yeah, but it's cute having that in the corner, isn't it? We could put a front door, you could have a front door instead and I don't know, we have uh, letter boxes, I don't know. Mailbox, mailbox, you like, you like um, yeah, instead of one of those, you could have a mailbox or a front door. Front door in, in we have, we have front door where we've got our letter, letter box in, so people, so the postman puts the letters through the front door or whatever, yeah, it's our front door. Um, my mum's got a mailbox type thing, but they made it themselves. Yeah, so you could draw a mailbox, like a, on a stick and one of those little shaped things and a little flag thing they have on them. Um, yeah, I've seen them. I've seen them on telly. <laughs> I can't remember. I've been to America, but I can't remember what they had. Um, <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, that's interesting, isn't it? But anyway, there's a little pillar box, as we say, and cute little that. We could just have them on the same page, if you like, as well. Yeah. Going round in a circle, I don't know. We just want to do... Because that's a nice flat page design as well, isn't it? If you've got a, to do a flat page. Oh, I was thinking as well, you could use them as a page edger, but... That's what I did with the book page ones. I've just left the... Can you see where the address... Where instead of having the address, I've left the type. Yeah. I just need one more, really. Or just move them down a bit. Look quite cute, wouldn't they? You could have that. Still have that on the page. <laughs> yeah, somewhere. Yay, or... That. <laughs> that's quite neat isn't it yeah and perhaps have a load of them the other side of it like here yeah that's nice <laughs> manicures yeah yeah so that's an idea isn't it so there you've got that idea i'm going to put some of the other ones down as well 
so that's the idea yeah those flowers there I'd have to try and put some I ain't got enough circles but I've got a few squares to finish it off <laughs> I've got plenty of hearts got those flowers obviously um they look cute down a page if you did loads more the these ones <coughs> 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 yep, ooh. I actually could arrange those how you like. And because they're easy to do, aren't they? They're just <laughs> like, that's it, yeah. And I've got that idea as well, but you might need a little bit of a uh draw string. I've got some banners. Oh, is it banners? What are these called? Bat yeah, they are banners, aren't they? So you could have a banner and you can write letters on it if you like. I haven't done them all, I've only done one. <laughs> but you could do a banner with them. And you can do them a little bit of that. If they're out of shape, it doesn't matter because they could be just blowing in the wind, can they? There you go. Yeah, so you could have a little, little uh, banner idea as well going there and with a word on or something like that etc etc so I'm going to oh yeah it's amazing isn't it I'm just so happy with it all so pleased with all the different things I've done I'm trying to get all the little things that that's all um, any more any more for any more no. and so you don't have to use um, I've got some. You could even make them into stickers using, and this is some um, double sided tape with tissue paper on it. You could always draw them on that and then cut them into little stickers. You just got to um, be able to get the backing off, I think. That's all, but that's a. Um, Another another thought anyway. That's, as that's, that was on my desk. You could always always draw some template. That's a template. That's a bigger template. But you could always draw some templates if you get one right, and then just do it in, on card and then draw around it, or even um, cut a shape out with a punch. You can cut these out with a punch, couldn't you? Really, but. You wanted to do some, um, leave them on the paper. I just cut the punch out and leave them on the paper. It's because it's easy. It's a bit fiddly to do them when they're already cut out. Yeah, unless you can, um, unless you've got a way of doing it. Yeah, it's all fun, isn't it? All fun and games, yeah. So, do hope you like what I've been doing today, yeah. With all these little bits and... Yep, everything. With all the little um, papers you use every day, book pages. Yeah, by papers you use every day, I've got a video on that. because I use these papers every day. These will be the ones, the ones I did yesterday. I've, I've, um, well, I've put them on video today. And what I've done is. Um, Done them on printed them and used some filters to change them into different colours and everything. So that's why you've got different colours, and obviously there's book page ideas which look fantastic. Yeah, so I love my little post, but I'm gonna use that somewhere, <laughs> definitely. I don't know, I just did it from memory. I didn't um copy it. I should have copied it really because I'm sure it's I'm sure there's something missing, but I don't know what. That's the post box. That's the that's the times it will be delivered or collected, collected rather. Uh, so uh, yeah, very cute little ideas. Yeah, you can make little stamps. Yeah, that's right. Yes, you could as well. So and postcards and other flowers. I mean, there's those flowers. I've done those. So there's, uh, there's another type of leaf I did. Not necessarily today, that was a while ago. 
Oh, and I've stuck a piece of paper on it. Yeah. For the middle. Oh, weird. I didn't even know I'd done that. I forgot about that. Anyway, there we go. So I do hope you like my content. And please give me a thumbs up if you'd like to do this. And oh, yes, yes, do it yourself. Do it yourself. Don't, um, you know, don't just watch me. Get your pens out. Doesn't matter if they're not acrylics because uh, other ones will be fine. Um, acrylics do work on um, coloured paper though. They do change the colour paper. So apart from the white I found in this set. So yeah. <laughs> so the sun will not. If they're not Uniposcas. Because Uniposca and um, Secure, is it um, Jelly Roll? Um, Hi, uh, what do you call that thing? Uniball Signo, I think it is. <laughs> and I've got, I've just found this as well, which is a jelly roll. I don't know, oh wait, is that the one that's the, the really good? I don't know, I've had, it, I've had this a while, so oh, it still works, lot. <gasps> oh, it does really delicate little tiny dots. Wow, cute that, yeah. Yeah, so that's good, isn't it? So that works. And I've had that ages. I've had that, I don't know, <laughs> a year at least, a year, probably more. So that's amazing, isn't it? That's really good because sometimes these run out, don't they? So it's the proper one, the proper. Yeah, so you want a, a good quality one, don't you? You don't want anything. I got some ones from Team U and they did, did not last long at all. I don't think they even worked, so. Yeah, so I didn't bother with that. I think it's rather, it's rather spend them. Otherwise, it's just a waste of money, isn't it? Anyway, there we go. So, um, did I say? I can't even remember if I've asked you for a thumbs up. I think I did, didn't I? Um, please, please give me a thumbs up if you haven't already. If I haven't said that already, <laughs> um, and also um, subscribe to my chan channel as well if you haven't already. That'd be great. Thank you so much, and. Goodbye.